ang lahat ay may kabayaran. Pinasasampahanan ng graft charges ng Office of the Ombudsman ang dating Comelec Commissioner na si Ruwena Guanzon. Ito'y kaugnay ng umanay ginawa niyang paglalahat ng confidential information hingil sa disqualification case ni Pangulong Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. noong 2022 election. Matatandang nag-ugat ang lahat ng ito ng ibulgar mismo ni Ruwena Guanzon sa isang interview kasagsagan ng May 2022 election na bumoto siya para i-disqualify si President Bongbong Marcos Jr. sa kanyang pagtakbo noong 2022 election. Narito ang detalyong balita na umani ng samot sa reaksyon sa mundo ng social media. Ang lahat ay may hangganan. Inaprubahan na ng Office of the Ombudsman ang pagsasampa ng graft charges laban kay dating Comelec Commissioner Rowena Guanzon. Ito ay matapos sabihin ng OMB na si Guanzon ay nahaharap sa dalawang bilang ng paglabag sa Section 3K ng Republic Act 3019. Si Guanzon ay ang presiding commissioner ng Comelec's First Division na humawak ng disqualification cases laban kay dating presidential candidate Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. Ang nasabing kaso laban kay Guanzon ay isinampa ng veteran lawyer na si Attorney Ferdinand Topasso. Ayon sa kanilang mga report, tila labag raw sa salikang batas ang ginawa ni Attorney Ruwen Aguanzon na ilabas ang confidential information patungkol sa disqualification cases laban sa dating presidential na si Bongbong Marcos Jr. Ayon sa buong detalyeng balita na inilabas ng Tribune sa kanilang official website, Ex-Comelec Commissioner Faces Raps The Office of the Ombudsman has found the probable cause to indict former election commissioner Rowen Aguanzon of the graft charges for divulging information relating to the disqualification case of President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. from the highest post in May 2022 polls. The Ombudsman ordered the filing of two counts of violation of Section 3K of the Anti-Graft and Corruption Practices Act or Republic Act 3019 against Guanzon for prematurely disclosing confidential information. The Ombudsman said in a statement or resolution dated 25 of July year 2023 that the corresponding information against her be filed with appropriate court. The case was initiated by Attorney Ferdinand Topasso and Jago Magpantay, President of the Citizens Crime Watch. Last May 27, 2022, which accused Guanzon of violating the anti graft law, the Code of Conduct and Ethical Standard for Public Officials and Employees and Revised Penal Code. This was for the alleged disclosing confidential information relating to the disqualification of Marcos in the 2022 post filed before the Comelec First Division, where Rowena Guanzon served as the presiding commissioner. The complaint said Guanzon must be held liable for two counts, each of violating Section 3K of Republic Act 3019, Section 7C of Republic Act 6713, and the revelation of secrets by a public officer under Article 229 of the Revised Penal Code for divulging valuable information. In their complaint, they said Guanzon's action was done to further her private interests at the expense of prejudicing public interests and the credibility of the Comlec and her fellow commissioners. Angko! Ayon sa balita, nasilip raw kasi ng ombudsman na pwedeng kasuhan ang dating Comelec Commissioner dahil sa paglabas ito ng mga sensitibong impormasyon patungkol sa nooy lumalakad na disqualification case laban sa nooy presidential na si Bongbong Marcos year May 2022. Ang mga nasabing kaso ay mismong isinampa ni Attorney Ferdinando Pasho kasama si Jego Magpantay na siyang inilaban at pinatunayan sa Office of the Ombudsman na mali ang ginawa ni Guanzon at labag ito sa salig batas. Ngayon ay tila porsigido ang kampo ni Attorney Ferdinand Topasso na kasuhan ang dating Comelec Commissioner na si Ruwen Guanzon. Ano ang iyong magiging sa balitang ito? Just comment below.